hello guys welcome back in this video we are going to learn about increment and decrement operators in kotlin so without further ado let's get started so we are going to create a new project here and we are going to call this increment increment so we are going as usual to select here the version and click next we don't change anything here we click finish now our project is going to build so now let's navigate here to the project window and let's open here src and look for me and we navigate here to kotlin and create a new kotlin file and we're going to call this main also we are going to create here the main function and so now here we can see that the increment operator is used to add one in the variable so for example if we have x equals to 10 then we add we use the incrementing operator so it's going to add this to 11. so also we have the decrement operator which is used to subtract subtract one in the variable so we can see here an example if we declare for example here var a equals to one so now we can increment this variable by using the plus sign so if we use this double sign this means it's going to increment this variable by one or if we want to decrement a variable for example this a we can use this minus signs and double minus sign and this is going to decrement the variable so this is useful in different ways uh, for example when we cre we can create a counter that checks how many times a user has copied a value for example and limit to certain amount so we have this feature in our application that allows a user to copy for example to copy the text so we want to limit for example to five five times that a user can use this feature to copy so we are going to use this counter to increment the number of copies also for example if we have a game that a user is playing so every time he plays he uses one life so we want to decrement this this amount of life in the total total number of lives so we are going to use the minus sign to decrement this variable so now we are going to see there are different ways which you can use this incrementing and decrementing which it is the pre-decrement and post-decrement now this post and pre-decrement which performs different uses and performs different effects on a variable so let's see here an example on how this post and pre-increment usually works so now let's delete this one first we don't need this so we're going to declare a new variable here b and we are going to call this b and assign this value from the value of a so here we are going to use first the pre-decrement so meaning that we are decrementing a variable before assigning it so if we use this here we have used a pre-decrement meaning that we are going to decrement this variable before assigning to be here so this is called a, a pre-increment a, a pre so we are assigning a variable before we are incrementing a variable before assigning it so here the value of a because we are we are we are going to increment this by one so this value of a here is going to be two and after that it's going to assign this b this one to two here so this b is going also to be b two so they are going to have equal equal values so this we are going to write here a print function and we're going to write here b and we use the dollar sign to access the b value and also we're going to access the a value and we're going to use the dollar sign to access the values so now let's create another variable here we are calling c so for example here c we are going to use a post decrement so meaning that we are dec we, we, we are incrementing a variable after after assigning this value so from here as you can see here this c value is going to be first assigned to the value for this one here so because we have incremented here so a is 2 so now c is going to be 2 however we are post decrementing a so we know that this a is going to be equals to 2 so the next 
the next operation which uses a is going to print a different value so for example here we are going to use a print lin command also we can see here that we have the value of c okay we use the value of c here and the value of a so as you can see here the value is going to be different and this was the this was the post increment so we can see here we have we are incrementing and here we are incrementing but in a different way so here we are pre-incrementing and here we are post decrementing so let's try and run this first and see how it's going to execute here So now, as you can see here, we have got that the value of B is two and the value of A is two because we have pre-incremented this value first. And here the value of C is two and the value of A is three because we have post incremented here. So the value assigned to this was the, that was coming from this one. And the value of A now has been incremented by one and now is, ha, has the value of three. So now let's look here scroll up this first and let's look here for let's declare here another variable d and we are going to decrement now so let's take here a pre-decrement a so this one is called a pre-decrement as you can see here we are decrementing first then we are going to perform the assigning of the variable so if we try again to print here so we know that the value of d We access the value of D and here we access the value of A. So now also let's use the post decrement. So now we are decrementing after assigning the value. So for example here, if we use A, then we, we, we apply the post decrement and we are going to perform here print lin function. And now we are going to use this P so let's get the value of p here so it's going to be equal to and we access that value there and also we are going to access the value of a here and use the dollar sign also to access the value of a so they are going to print differently here so let's try to run this and see how it's going to affect our values So now, as you can see here, our program has finished to execute and the value of B has been here from as, as from previous, you can see, but now we are decrementing the value. We know that the value of A was three here. Now we are going to decrement this value before assigning here. So for example, here we have decremented this by one, then we have assigned this. So they are going to be equal here. So D is going to be two and A is going to be two. Now, as you can see here also, we were decrementing a variable after assigning. So you can see here now the value of A was two, but we have assigned this value of A to P when this was two. Then we have performed the increment decrementing after assigning and the value of A now is one. So this was the quick way on how you can understand this, uh, this post and pre decrement and it's really useful. I hope we are going to see them in action in our projects. So without further ado, thank you so much for watching these videos. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe and provide thumbs up. Thank you.